Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to solve the Kilo Minx. So the Kilo Minx is just like a Mega Minx, only it's a 2x2. Two two. So it's a Mega Minx, but it's just like if you only solved the corners of a Mega Minx and didn't solve the rest of the cube, just the corners. So where these centers are doesn't matter, that's just how the cube came. So I'm going to scramble this up and show you how to solve it. And if you already know how to solve a Megaminx, this will be a lot easier, but if you don't know how to solve a Megaminx, then this would be a good beginner cube for you. So I'm gonna get this mixed up and show you how to solve it. So the first step is you want to build the white center. Now this cube has centers marked off, but it doesn't really matter because you're only solving corners. So wherever you solve each side doesn't really matter. But I'm going to start with the white center because for beginners I like to start with the white. And right now I see a purple and green piece right here. If you know how to solve a 3x3, three three, it'd be helpful if you learn how to solve a 3x3 three three first before you go and solve this. But I'm going to show you how to solve it. So, like I said, we got the green and purple and white piece right here. We need to find a white piece that matches either green or purple. So one that has the same color on it. Here's one right here. It is a red and green piece. It has green on it, and it's also white. So that's the piece we want. How we're going to get it into here is we're going to do... There are two algorithms for this. The right algorithm and the left algorithm. We're going to do the left algorithm to put this piece in here. So we turn it to where this side is on the top, the side with the piece we want. And we do... The left algorithm is L prime U prime L and that puts the, that piece in here. Next we're going to find a piece that either matches red or purple. Here's a piece right here. It has red on it. It's a blue and white piece and it also matches red. So we're going to turn it to this side. So we're going to turn this side twice, now it's up here, turn this side twice to put it up here, and then turn this side once. And now it can go right in here, like that. Now we're going to use the right algorithm, which is the same as the left algorithm, only backwards. So the right algorithm is going to put this piece into here, and since it's facing on the top, we really can use either the right algorithm or the left algorithm. But I'm going to show you the right algorithm this time, just in case I don't get any other cases where we need the right algorithm. So the right algorithm is R, U, R prime, U prime, and we're going to repeat it three times. So R, U, R prime, U prime, one more time. R U R prime U prime. But then if you don't want to repeat the same thing three times, a faster way to do it from here is to do an a more advanced algorithm to put that piece in here. So I'm going to show you this algorithm. It's R U two R prime U prime R U R prime. And you have to do fewer moves on that one, so I think that one's a little better if you want to be pretty fast at it. Next, we are going to find a piece that matches either the purple side or a blue side. Here's a blue and yellow piece right here. We want that. We want to get this piece over here. So how we're going to do that is we're going to turn this side twice. And then we're going to actually just turn the bottom twice and connect it. And that pairs it up right there. And now we just have one more piece. That last piece is right here. So we're going to 
turn it to the side that's on the top of the white side so this side right here and then we're gonna turn it once more counterclockwise to get it to where it fits right into here and then for this algorithm we're gonna do R U2 R prime U prime R U R prime and that puts that piece in here and now we have the white side solved next we want to solve all the sides on the bottom or you could solve the gray side which is opposite from the white side but I think an easier way to do it is to solve the next five sides that are connected to the white side first because that will be a lot easier so we're gonna find pieces that match these two colors right here and here's one this is a red piece so we're gonna start with the red center this piece is red and green and tan so we're going to since it's red and green we're gonna put it in between the red and green sides and then we're gonna turn it to where make it like the red side is on the bottom and do the left algorithm twice to connect the red to the red, the green to the green, or the tan to the tan, which is actually not here yet. So here's the left algorithm. L prime, U prime, L, U. One more time. L prime, U prime, L. And now we have that piece where it needs to go. Next, we're going to find an O piece that either has green and tan or red and tan. This piece is green and tan, so it looks like the next side we're solving is green. When you find that piece, I just put it up here. How I did that was... Well, it was right here, and I just did L prime, U prime, L to get it up here. Now we're going to put the green side on the bottom, just like that, and do the right algorithm once to get this piece where it needs to go right here so put the green side on the bottom and do r u r prime u prime and now that piece is in here and next we're going to find a corner piece that is green light blue and purple so looking around the cube that's the hard part here it is right here and you want to make sure when you're looking around the cube Keep one finger on the side you want so that you don't lose it. So I have one finger on the purple side while I'm looking for the piece. It is right here. And we, I want to make sure that when I'm turning it, I don't mess up any of this or any of this. So it's right here. So I'm going to turn it until it can get over here just like that and now we still we still have the green side on the bottom and this green is on the top so we're gonna do the algorithm for pieces on the top which is r u2 r prime u prime r u r prime and that puts that piece where it needs to go and then it also put this piece where I want it. That was amazing. That doesn't usually happen, but I just got a lucky case there. But anyway, we're going to find the next piece, which is right here on the red side. So now we're going to turn it to where it can fit right into the purple side like that. Put the purple on the bottom and do L prime, U prime, L, U. And now we have three sides solved. White, green, and purple. Now we're going to solve the yellow side. Next we find this piece right here. This is a yellow, orange, and green. It needs to go right here. So we're going to turn it to where we can fit it in here like that. 
and do L prime U prime L to put it in here. Next, this piece we're gonna do the right algorithm to fit it where we want. So R U R prime U prime R U R prime. And now we have that piece in here. We have the yellow side solved. So there's the first four sides. Next, we're gonna solve the blue and the red side. First, the blue, because it's just easier to get to. So we have this piece right here, and we want it in here. To get it in, in here, we're gonna do R, U2, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime. And that's the same algorithm I showed you many times to get that piece in here. But getting this piece in here is going to be the hard part because we, if we turn it over here, it messes the green side up. So instead, we're going to just turn it away from this side, which is supposed to be the pink side. And then we're going, going to bring this side up, move this out of place to where it's in the blue and red area. And where this piece needs to go is up one, where the piece we want is on the gray side, and then where we want it to go is just down below, okay? So now we're going to do the left algorithm, which is L prime U prime L U, and that puts that piece in here. Now we can turn these two back without breaking anything and solve the last corner piece. It's right up here. This is easy because we only have to turn the top twice to get it to go in here and then just do the right algorithm which is R U R prime U prime. And now we have that piece where we want it to go. Okay, now we got the first six sides solved and we are almost done. The next part is a little bit trickier, so just follow me carefully on this algorithm. We have two corner pieces. If we turn them to one place, they're solved and lined up. They don't have to be, like, they can be moved around. Like, it can be something like this where they're not quite in the gray side, but they just have to be on the right side. They don't have to be solved. Okay, so now we're going to turn it on the orange side because that's the side with two corner pieces that are solved. And do this algorithm which is U, R, U2, L prime, U2, R prime, U prime 2, L. And... Now we have all the corners in the right place. These three are in the right place. These two are in the right place, but they are twisted. This is called parity, and we're going to need the last algorithm to fix that. Now, be very careful on this. For the last algorithm, we're going to just do one algorithm to make it a little bit easier to solve these two corner pieces. And this is the first and the last algorithm on the Kilominx and also the Megaminx. And so now I'm gonna start with the algorithm. It's R, U, R prime, U prime. And I keep doing R, U, R prime, U prime until I get the piece to face the gray side to where it's almost solved. Now, since we broke the centers, I'm going to turn it towards another piece that's not facing and keep doing R U R prime U prime until it solves this side and it should also solve the gray side and now the Kilominx is solved. Okay, so that's the end of this video. I hope you learned how to solve the Kilominx and it wasn't too hard for you. I'm not the best explainer at tutorials, but I'm okay, I would say. And I will see you in the next video.